Hello, hello, it's Stumplet here. Welcome to part 15 of 25 of the College Entrance Test Review. Credits to the Review Masters for providing me with these items. To continue, item 57, a telephone pole is 9 meters tall. What is the length of a piece of wire which extends from the top of the pole to a point that is 12 meters from the base of the pole? So obviously the figure is not given, but this will be the figure. So the telephone pole is 9 meters tall. So we we'll just draw the telephone pole first. And then we're, we're given that, we're, we're asked of the, what, the length of the piece of wire, which extends from the top of the pole, which is this one highlighted in red, to a point that is 12 meters from the base of the pole. Now the base of the pole is this one. So there is a point that is 12 meters from the base of the pole. So moving 12 meters horizontally, it doesn't really matter left or right, but I decided to go right. So there's a point here, let's have it in red again, that is exactly 12 meters away from the base of the pole. So we're asked to get the distance between these two red points. Now let's just connect them and let the green line be the wire, so it's going to be x. So I guess it's pretty obvious enough that it's a right triangle because there's a right angle here and thus we must use the Pythagorean theorem. So just substitute the values in and solve for x. So 9 squared plus 12 squared equals x squared. Now 9 squared is, gives us 81, 12 squared gives us 144. So 81 plus 144 equals x squared. Now 81 plus 144 is actually 225. So I'll have your x squared equals 225. And 225 is actually 15 squared. So we'll have x equals plus or minus 15. But then again, we're talking about distances here. So we're just going to get the positive 15 as our answer. So it would be choice C in this case. Or we can just use the famous Pythagorean ratio of 3, 4, 5. And just note that 9 and 12 have a ratio of 3 is to 4. So the 5 here would correspond to a 15. Since we have a 9, 12, 15 ratio, which is equivalent to a 3, 4, 5 ratio. So... Anyways, we're going to get 15 as our answer. Item 58. If the measures of the angles of a triangle are in the ratio 2 is to 3 is to 4, what is the degree measure of the smallest angle? Now, one key takeaway is to use this trick. So we have A is to B, for example, 3 is to 5. We can let A to be 3x for some value of x. It doesn't really matter. And B to be 5x. So we don't know what x is yet, but we'll be able to represent them in a way so that at least... At we don't need to have to do we don't we only have to do deal with one variable instead of two. So we have a ratio of angles here, two is to three is to four. So by this uh, logic we can have three angles. So all in terms of x. So I have two x, I have three x, and then I have four x. So these will be the three angles since they have a ratio of two is to three is to four. Now, since they're angles of a triangle, if I add them I should be able to get one hundred eighty degrees. So all I have to do is just solve for x first. So uh, this gives us a total of 9x. 9x equals 180. Now divide both sides by 9. x equals 180 over 9. That gives us 20. So I'll have x equals 20. But don't get too excited yet because 20 is not the answer. We're asked to get the degree of the smallest angle. So always go back to the question. We're asked for the smallest angle. So since we have three angles here, 2x, 3x, and 4x, our smallest angle is going to be 2x. So we substitute 20 here. We're going to get 2 times 20. And 2 times 20 gives us 40. So it's going to be 40 degrees. So degree measure of the smallest angle is thir sorry, it's 40 degrees. So it's choice C. Item 59. The width of a rectangular rug is 4 feet. If the perimeter is 20 feet, what is the length of the rug? So this is a very simple question actually. So we have the formula for the perimeter given to be twice the value of length plus the width. So we'll have direct substitution. Since we're given with the perimeter, which is 20, we're given with the width of the rectangle, which is 4. So all we have to do is just solve for L. Divide both sides by 2. We're going to get 10 equals L plus 4. And then just solve for L. We're going to get that L equals 6. So that's simple. We have choice C for this answer. Item 60, if AC equals 18, BC, BE equals 13, DE equals 3, and D is the midpoint of CE, what is AB? Now, in these types of examples, I suggest start with 
uh, two points that are adjacent or consecutive. So it would be easier for us to start. So let's just consider d e equals 3 first and plot it here. So d e equals 3. And we know that d is the midpoint of c e. So c d should equal d e. So c d here should also equal 3. So let's put it down here, 3. Now b e equals 13. So this entire thing should give us 13. Now this part already gives us 6. So it makes sense that this part will have 7. So 7 plus 3 plus 3. That gives a total of 13. Now, AC equals 18. So AC is this one. But BC already has a measure of se sorry, a length of 7. So AB here should have a length of 11. Now, then again, it's not that drawn to scale, but uh, we, we have successfully acquired length. So we go back to the question. Oh, we asked for AB. So 11 it is. So we have choice B for this answer. So Hopefully you guys learned something new from this video and I'll see you in part 16. Bye bye!